What's going on everybody? I am Staff Sergeant Charles Brock of the U.S. Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. And today we are at Potomac Falls High School in Virginia. Today we have a special guest named Ryan Alon. And we're going to get ready to take you to him. Good morning, Ryan. How are you doing today? Good. So you're about to jump out of an airplane. How do you feel about that? Uh, excited. Definitely. Well, it's an honor to be able to share the skies with you. Uh, we appreciate um, you coming out and spending the day with the U.S. Army Golden Knights. Have you ever been in an airplane before? Um, uh, yeah. Okay, well this one, we're gonna have the door wide open and with the help of Sergeant First Class, Chris Acevedo, we're gonna jump out of an airplane. Anything you'd like to say before we make this jump happen? Um, how far up are we? We're gonna be just under two miles above the ground. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna go about 120 miles per hour in free fall and then have a nice, soft, slow, peaceful canopy right back down. Okay. Ready to go? Yep. All right, we'll see you up there. Have a great skydive. Thank you. Jumped out of an airplane! Yep. 
What did you think about that? It was amazing. Everything you hoped for? Yep. Ryan, you're a true warrior. It was an honor for us to share the skies with you. Ace, awesome job back there. Get you disconnected. There we go. All right, Ryan. Just pivot around. Hey, that was awesome. <laughs> Hi, Bison. How are you? Good, good, man. Ryan, great job up there. You looked like a professional. You looked like a, a true warrior up there. Awesome job. And oh, thanks for bad. sharing the skies with the U.S. Army Golden Knights. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> How, what was your first reaction? What were you saying? Uh, it was amazing. You're ready to go again, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> Describe that for it. Like you probably thought about it for a while. How did that match what it was like, and and what was it like? Uh, it was awesome. I do have a presentation for you. We're gonna get the video edited up for you, so you have some photos and pictures of the uh, and video of the jump. We also have a special uh, photo of the Golden Knights in action doing a three three way side by side under canopy. Uh, we hope you have a place on your wall to uh, hang this photograph. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you. again for everything you do and for, for, for coming out and spending the day with the Thank Golden Knights. So it was an honor to be with you. Oh. Mom, how you feeling, Mom? Oh my God, I'm so grateful to them. Um, they have been just amazing. I mean, they're telling us that they're honored to be here with Brian, and we are so honored that they, are, they decided to do this for us. We are so grateful. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so I'm here with Ryan's father, and he's going to explain to us what this disease is. All right, thanks, Staff Sergeant Brock. So this disease is known as NBIA, which stands for Neurodegeneration with Brain Iron Accumulation. There's only 500 people in the world that have NBIA, and Ryan's specific variant of NBIA is called MPAN, uh, which only 100 people in the world, and the uh, only 100 people in the world have, and the effects of this disease uh, start with basically loss of ability to walk, uh, loss of vision over time, Parkinson's, dementia, uh, loss of the ability to swallow, so feeding tubes sometimes have to be put in later in life, uh, dementia, and uh, you know, ultimately uh, early early death. So you know, people with MPAN they could live into the maybe into their 30s, uh, but the end state of the condition. Is not very is not very good. So we're working with DC Children's National Hospital to raise funds, raise awareness, and to hopefully do some research into finding a treatment or a cure for the 